Good morning. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear friends, I'd like to welcome you to this morning for the Eucharistic celebration. And today we celebrate this Mass for the intention of the healing and peace of our country. For the healing and the unity of our country. And also for those people who have been affected in one way or another so that God may continue to give them strength and healing. Today, we celebrate this Mass for the most sacred heart of Jesus, the festive Friday of June. Let us put our intention to pray for our country, and let us be thankful for the gift of life. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to, and you, to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that I have greatly have sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, words in, in what I have done and what I have failed, failed to do, through my, my fault, fault, through my fault, through my, fault, through my, my most, most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary and the Virgin, Virgin all, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son and set us aflame with his love that conformed to his image we may merit and share in eternal redemption through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of Paul to Timothy. You have followed my teaching, way of life, purpose, faith, patience, love, endurance, persecutions, and sufferings, such as has happened to me in Antioch, Iconium, and Lystra, persecutions that I endured. Yet from all these things the Lord delivered me. In fact, all who want to live religiously in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. But wicked people and charlatans will go from bad to worse, deceivers and deceived. But you remain faithful to what you have learned and believed, because you know from whom you learned it, and that from infancy you have known the sacred scriptures, which are capable of giving you wisdom for salvation through faith in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and is useful for teaching, for refutation, for correction, and for training in righteousness, so that one who belongs to God may be competent, equipped for every good work. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response will be, O Lord, great peace have they who love your law. O Lord, great peace have they. Through my persecutors and my foes are, though my persecutors and my foes are many, I turn not away from your decrees, O Lord. Permanence is your word's chief trait. Each of your ordinances is everlasting, O Lord. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word, O Lord. Great. Those who love your law have great peace, and for them there is no stumbling block. O oh, your peace. I wait for your salvation, O Lord, and your commands I fulfill. I keep your precepts and your decrees, for all my ways are before you. Mm -hmm. 
May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go Amen. and proclaim the good news. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was teaching in the temple area, he said, How do the scribes claim that the Christ is the son of David? David himself, inspired by the Holy Spirit, said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I place your enemies under your feet. David himself calls him Lord. So how is he his son? The great crowd heard this with delight. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, first of all, I would like to say welcome again to our church after more than six weeks being just one on a, being on your houses and here in the church and you have been watching live streaming masses. How beautiful it is that the family have come together now to celebrate, to be united, to continue to be connected to the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends, I want to say that God loves you. And I remember I mentioned two days ago that if you read those words which they're on that yellow colors when you are going there, there is proclaim, celebrate, and serve the local community. And then you go there, you see also Jesus loves you. And then you see the message which reminds us, Kuyumba Halomo, to walk together. And you see that uh, continue to pray without ceasing. And you see then again that uh, welcome again. What does it mean to us? Those words are so powerful to us because they give us strength and healing. Even if we were there at our homes, our hearts and our faith were still connected in this wonderful church, the Church of Ascension. Even if we are not physically together, but spiritually we have been together, connected with the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that's why today I say let us celebrate this Mass for the intention of the healing and the unity of our country. For the intention and healing and the unity of our country, but also for the intention of continuing to be together with love and peace. Jesus is telling us always that come to me who you are labor and burden, and I will give you rest. Today, St. Paul in the first reading reminds us something very important. No one can separate us in the loves of Christ. He said he has been a good example to his followers. And he said that you have experiencing me with all my struggles and with all the persecutions. But my heart always has been in Jesus Christ. And he's encouraging his followers, keep your faith steady, no matter what. And that's why I would like to invite all of you to continue to keep your faith steady and continue to be embraced by the love of Christ. We know our life always is not easy. During the beginning of this the pandemic, we all started saying, how are we going to manage? Are we going to make it? But today we say, yes, by the grace of God, we are here. By the grace of God, we have done what God has given us. Let us continue to be thankful for the grace of God. Let us continue to be grateful for the peace of Christ. And let us be very thankful 
for the well-being of this wonderful country and for the well-being of the whole world. Where two or three are gathered in my name, I'm also with you. He is with us. And he's saying to us, do not be afraid. Take courage and walk through. And remember, we are all sons and daughters of God. With that human dignity, it will bring us together. No matter where you are, no matter where you do, he's always with us because we are sons and daughters of Christ. Amen. Amen. Dear friends, I want to thank you for your prayers and for your financial support. And I want to attest to you that there are other people who always attend this live streaming mass. They are watching us, and they are not even members of our community. But they say they want to support the Church of Ascension. Today, together with you as family members, I want to say thank you for your participation, for your prayers, and for your financial support to make Ascension always continue to be a welcoming community. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness I have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will come for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness I have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will come our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. O God, Father of mercies, who, because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness, gave us your only begotten Son, grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with him, we may offer you worthy homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just to our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high, up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that won over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we are claim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, you are church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mary our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died in our mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, you may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, done on the earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us share with each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only Lord, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. A word on communion, when you come up to receive, the mask needs to be covering both the mouth and the nose. When you get to the table, please cup your hands as opposed to something flat because we're going to be dropping the host into your hands. Step aside to the next spot, lower the mask, consume the host, put the mask up and then return to your seats. That's all designed for the safety and, and of all of us. Please stand.
is basically that. After this blessing, I'll put the monstrance here with the blessed sacrament and we'll begin our adoration for one hour. Next month, we'll see how we can go. Maybe we'll go as the normal way we do, but that today we just decided to have just one hour immediately after the Mass. So for those who will be able to join us, we are going to begin adoration now after the blessing. One of the soldiers opened his side with a lance, and at once they came forth blood and water. Let us pray. May the partakers in your sacrament of charity, we humbly employ your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and merit to be heirs of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and glorify the Lord by your lives. Jesus, we thank you for the gift of life. 
We thank you for the gift of faith. And we thank you for the gift of peace. We are gathered here to continue to acknowledge that uh, you are always present in our lives. And your presence always makes a difference in our journey of life. Even at the time when we don't know what to do as human beings, the time of struggles, the times of frustrations, the time of persecutions, the time when we come not to be in agreement to one another, but you are always coming to us in a different uh, scenario to show your loving mercy. We pray for our country, we pray for our church, and we pray for the whole world. In a very special way, we pray for the healing of our nation and also for unity, for what it has happened, and for what we continue to experience in our journey of life. You have showed us always that in the eyes of you, no one is different. You see us with our human dignity. And you see us, your sons and daughters. In a very special way, we pray as we continue to be united together with our country and with the whole world. We know that it's only love can lead us to you. Only forgiveness can lead us to you. Only strong faith and unity can lead us to you. But how you have called us to love one another you have called us to continue to remember that we can have all our differences, but you are the only one who has given us all the talents and gifts to one another. And no one can say that you have given them more than the others. And you did it purposely to show your love, to show your greatness, and to continue to say you love us. Give us courage as we continue to be united together in our parish as we are preparing ourselves to celebrate on the 14th at 2 p.m. the special mass for the healing and also for unity of our country and for the whole world. As we continue to pray, especially for those who have been affected in one way or another, let us be in your loving hand to say thank you, to say forgive us, and to say heal us.
down in adoration falling. Lo, the sacred host we held. Lo, ever ancient forms departing. Never rights of grace prevail. Faithful all defects supplying where the feeble senses fell. To the everlasting Father and the Son who reigns on high, with the Holy Ghost proceeding forth from each eternally, be salvation, honor, blessing, might and endless majesty. Amen. You have given them bread from heaven. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sac sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name. Blessed Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the most holy most sacrament in the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God, made of most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints. May the sacred heart of Jesus in the most blessed sacrament be praised, adored, and loved with grateful affection at every moment in all the tabernacles of the world, even until the end of times. Amen.
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.